This is code for today. I'm going to show you how to write a random number generator using the fourth programming language. In this case, I'm going to use Swift fourth. I'm not affiliated with them. I just use this program in my work and everyday life. So I'm going to show you, you know, how to write this. So to get started, I'm going to show you, I'm going to stop it first of all, and show you how it works. So basically I've written a small program called lucky nums and whenever i run this program it's just going to spit out you know a bunch of random numbers from 0 to 65 and at the very end we have you know our lucky powerball number so to write this program i'm going to recommend going to this website right here and I'll give the link in the description. But basically, this is kind of a PDF file, and it's going to use E4, which is another fourth programming language. You can use this on the Arduino, Nano, um, Uno, and other platforms. So, fourth is not just for software, you can use it on the hardware level. And you can even just, you know, flip bits directly. It's it's kind of uh, pretty neat. And I'll, I'll cover this in future videos. So what you want to do is you want to search for the lesson 16, which is going to show you, it's going to give you kind of a random number generator. And you can kind of play around with this and it's pretty interesting. So. Let me show you how how all this stuff works real quick. So let me pull this up. And basically I have this code written in, you know, Notepad and all you're going to do is just, you know, copy and paste it into your Swift fourth terminal. And right away, we can start to test this program out. And it says right here to test the routine type 100 choose and so forth. So let's do that 100 choose. And we can see that it chose a random number between 0 and 100. And it gave us 75. So if we were to run this, you know, over and over and over again, we would have a bunch of random numbers from zero to 100. And the Powerball, I believe, goes to 65. So you can kind of guess how uh, we can put together a random number generator. So this is going to spit out numbers between 0 and 65 and the powerball i believe goes from 0 to 25 so we're going to have you know random numbers from 0 to 25 so what we can do is we can put this in a do loop which i'll show you how to do right now So right here, I've written some extra code, and this is going to be, you know, just the Powerball Mega Millions random num number generator. And let me see if I can show this better. Um, okay, so a do loop basically. Uh, what we have here is a word that I created called Powerball. You can call it anything that you want. And this is going to run five times starting at zero. And what's going to run five times is our random numbers, zero to 65. So we're going to do that five times. After this is finished, we're going to get our Powerball number, which is going to be a random number between 0 and 25. We're going to choose one. And we're going to, you know, make it look nice and, you know, 
put Powerball and let me just show you. So so Powerball. So as you can see, we have, you know, our basic random number generator. It's going to generate our five random numbers. And then after our do loop is finished, we're going to run that last part, which is 25 choose. And we're going to, you know, put some text at the end. So that's the basic, you know, building blocks right there. So how do we run this, you know, over and over again? Well, we're going to use a begin until loop. So let me highlight this begin until. So everything in between begin and until is just going to keep running and running over and over again. So we're going to keep running and running this word over and over again. This is going to in put in a new line so it's not all on one line. And then this means, you know, if you hit any key, uh, stop the program. So until any key is pressed, you know, we're going to do this loop. So let me show you how this works. First, let me show you how it works without the CR. So you can see we need the new line in there. Otherwise, it's just totally, you know, unreadable. So all the CR does is just, you know, put a new line into our, our code. So there we go. So that's pretty much, you know, how you would do this in a almost infinite loop. You know, if we just press any key, it's going to stop it. That's kind of the magic of this word combined, you know, with this. So we have our lucky number generator. And if you want the code, you can go to my website. I'll have it in the description below. I also have this website in the description below. So like, subscribe, and let me know what you think.